How's it going you wonderful people it's Jay and in today's video we're going to be comparing the Elgato HD60S with something a little bit smaller, a USB 3 capture card. How well did the two compare? Stay tuned to find out. One of the things that I love seeing is more and more of you getting into streaming whether it's on Twitch, Facebook or YouTube. Everyone has such a distinctive style and it's so great to see. But whenever I think of the equipment that you need to stream, I always think that capture cards are the biggest price hurdle. You've got capture cards that are well over £100, $100. Is it really worth the investment if you want to just start streaming? I've been using the Elgato HD60S capture card for about three years now, streaming games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon and Smash for my Switch. The footage is smooth, it's crisp, and whilst the Elgato does have its hiccups from time to time, it's really a solid capture card. So I've been talking to a few streamers recently about capture cards and they recommended this one, a little USB 3 capture card that comes in at under £10 or under $20 and today we're going to compare the footage from this to the footage from the Elgato HD60. So which capture card to get? If you head over to Amazon there are loads, loads and loads and loads and loads of capture cards and they all look fairly similar. There's some links in the pinned comment below, definitely check them out, but the most important thing to look for is USB 3.0 support. USB 3 transfers data far quicker than USB 2, so your footage should in theory be a lot smoother. So I got one of these USB capture cards off Amazon and they are incredibly tiny. There's a little socket to input your HDMI cable and the USB itself and you can tell that it's USB 3 as the inside is blue. Most of these cheaper capture cards don't have an HDMI output however, so if you wanted to also watch the gameplay on a TV at the same time, you would also need to purchase an additional HDMI 1 in, 2 out splitter as well, links are in the description below. So let's see how it compares. We also, we also have a separate video on how to set this all up on OBS and how to start streaming or recording. Check out the video, it's somewhere up here. But in this video we're just going to compare the footage with Elgato. So I picked games that have a typically high frame rate and a lot of action going on. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Smash Ultimate. Both were captured at 60 frames per second at full HD or 1080p. For the USB capture card and even ones like Elgato, I do recommend streaming at 720p or downsizing your footage a little bit as the result might be smoother, starting with Mario Kart 8 and it holds up really well. The colours are a bit more saturated and there's a little bit of compression but it's really not noticeable during normal gameplay. It feels completely fine during the race and it's only really when you look at the footage back next to the Elgato that you can see some little minor slowdown in performance. Jumping on Smash, again it's a fast paced game with plenty going on and it handled and performed better than Mario Kart overall. Again during gameplay it doesn't feel like there's any noticeable lag or the game feeling a bit clunky. Perhaps if you're a veteran in the Smash scene then the minor frame rate slowdown could be a little bit of a problem, but for a noob like me it runs perfectly fine against the Elgato. Again when comparing the two side by side you can instantly tell that the Elgato is far smoother but during gameplay it's really not an issue at all.
Again, for improved performance, I wouldn't recommend having your footage full screen and full HD. I would consider maybe putting a little background image to your Twitch stream and shrinking the footage a little bit. It definitely helps when streaming. If you do notice a little bit of lag in the capture, I would totally recommend an HDMI splitter so you have one signal going to your TV, which will be in full speed, and you'd have a little bit of slowdown going into OBS and consequently in your footage or to Twitch. So what do you think of these little USB capture cards? They perform incredibly well compared to the professional cards. And if you are starting out on Twitch or you've got a YouTube channel that you've just started up and you're creating gaming videos, be sure to share your links or your handles below. Definitely want to check out your work. And before you go on to the next video, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky Fan Designs, voted for by you. Links are in the description below. A big thank you for all your support. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more geeky, more gaming, more streaming videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.